Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Doing a little study and um, we swept ourselves over into um, Virgo season and we're in September. Um, It comes to mind that we've learned a lot of lessons, right? But it could be some things that we're still stuck in the illusions of um, Pisces moon has passed that was on Tuesday and Wednesday Um, this is September 4th by the way but just getting a little check in with time however um, I was speaking with some of my friends and we were just chopping it up you know because we know and we feel things that are going on the changes but I kept seeing the fool as in the tarot card with the fool and how he had been on his journey and finally he had swept over into a new season and oftentimes what people don't understand is is that we're going through lessons and it's not that we are fools to be embarrassed by but we're fools taking mm, leaps of faith to gain knowledge I think that the experiences that we go through would be much more rewarding if we knew that we were here in the earth plane to relearn, remember. And oftentimes, relearning means that I have to fall in order to know how to ride that bike or keep myself up on that bike. I might put my hand on the stove and remember that I should not do that. I might even pick up a pot with my hand impulsively just to remember that I should not move by impulse, right? And that brings us to the mind and understanding of Gemini because Gemini can be impulsive and Aries can too. But we're looking at Gemini and Virgo because they are ruled by um, Mercury. And Mercury without discipline can be um, overzealous, it can be impulsive, it can also be um, a trickster. And so the trickster um, will take us into places that we didn't mean to walk into, which is a fool's position. I think that the fool's position, again, is not about embarrassment, but even while we're in a fool's position that we learn while we're in that position so we can fill our bag up and come into the season of Virgo where we can sit down and intellectualize um, circumstances, situations that we put ourselves in and then come out on the winning end. Let me tell you some of the things that could be in the bag of the fool Um, as he's carrying it on his bag, bag lady, Um, You know, like Erica Badu song. Um, That means that you got a lot of your hurts and pains in there. You got a lot of devaluing material in there where you've been damaged, where you've been um, um, unappreciated, unaccepted. And then one day it's like you have that great awakening, which causes or comes from a breaking something that really hurt you and so you take some time to reflect and when you take the time to reflect you come into your aha moment which gives you an understanding of really why you were putting these things in the bag you were a bag lady or a bag man you were carrying a bag until you realize you were no longer a fool. So one day, one day in one decade, you were a fool. But then you crossed over into a new season. Yes, by hurt or by pain, because that's how we awaken. And then you embrace the fact that you were a fool so that you could get what you needed to get. And now you are someone with wisdom and knowledge. And so where am I going with this? Well, we're in Virgo. Virgo is an intellectual um, energy. But when it's moved into the esoteric aspect, what it it becomes is a um, planet of virginity, of purity. 
because it has cleared away all the polluted information which says that I am damaged. Well, I went through some things, but the pain has brought me gain. The discomfort in my fool's bag has brought me a gain. And I think that if we look at situations that we walk through in this capacity and understand that all of us have a level of enlightenment, that we can come into that light as we have played the fool. And the song says, everybody plays the fool. Sometimes everybody plays the fool until they wake up to consciousness of knowing what the event that they just came out of was about. And that means that there's a period of awakening. And some people fight the awakening because They don't want to wake up from being a fool. They want to keep doing the same thing they were doing um, that keeps them stuck, that keeps them polluted in thought, that keeps them um, overactive, um, um, over-dramatizing, that keeps them comfortable with who they've been. Life is, is, is tricky, and this is the part of the illusion. I don't want to give up who I've been, even though I've been a fool playing the part of a fool. You know, if I want acceptance, then I got to come out of the mind of the fool. If I want love, then I got to understand that I got to give love. If I want to be accepted, I have to accept myself first. Everything starts with us. So if I played the fool, it's okay for me to acknowledge it. At least I know I played the part. I don't have to keep that part. You know, I can pick up a part of the king or the queen, you know, and truly um, becoming a king or a queen goes in levels. But my point is, is that I don't have to stay a fool. I can play the part. And that's so wonderful because we're in a life where we play parts. We go from one level to the next, from level to level and glory to glory. So after I pass the test from being a fool and I realize that everything that is in my bag is um, a bag of gestures, of situations that I can turn into magic or turn into my blessings, that's when I I wake up and I overcome rather than sitting and sulking and I'm the fool. Um, mind you, I'm, I'm still here and I'm talking about Gemini and Virgo. Gemini has two polarities. It's a dual um, um, energy. It has darkness and light, like yin and yang. And I taught this in my Gemini class, but I didn't go as deep as I'm going now. It's very important for us to realize where we are, why we are in the place that we are, so that we can come out on the other end and give it an explanation of it. Because when we are playing the part, again, as the fool, you see, Esau was a fool and he had that brother named Jacob and this is in the Bible and they reference the Gemini energy because they are twins. One is um, of light and one is of darkness. So Esau gave his birthright away. It's a foolish thing to give your birthright away. You got to know what you're doing, but this is the part of the fool. So the fool will have to go through some things to understand what he's done. The pain will wake him up. And then Jacob will play the part of the fool because he was part of a theft. You know what I'm saying? So even though Jacob woke up and he began to play a part of significance in Christianity, the first thing that we see is that he played his brother. He played his brother. And yes, it was close through his mother, but there was a trickery going on here. And so even though he profited in a in a sense, what happened is, is that Jacob had to go through some other situations. And I'm not saying that it's bad, but the same game that was played on his brother to take the birthright. So did Jacob go through the same type of scenarios when he wanted um, Laban's son. And so all of this is in 
um, Genesis. Anyway, you can look it up when he's marrying. He wants Rachel. You know, he's going um, working for these uh, this Rachel because she was beautiful. And he, you know, Laban, his um, uncle or cousin tricked him. So here it is. He gets tricked himself. So you got a genetic genealogy of curses or however you want to put it going on. But then, you know, Jacob learns through his time and season of playing a fool and he is learning so that he's turning things into um goal um he's actually playing the part of the alchemist and i'm still talking about gemini because i already referenced that esau and jacob are energy aspects and forms that are, are very uh likened to the gemini sign so Gemini begins to evolve and we see uh, Jacob is evolving because even in Genesis, you'll see where Jacob climbed the ladder um, to get to God. But what is not clearly said is that Jacob actually was climbing the ladder of DNA. He was actually changing the DNA composites for the children of Israel because he becomes a prominent name for even the prime minister, um, what is his name? Anyway, he had 12 sons and here I am forgetting things. And that's because I got so much going on in my mind, but he has the son that is, um, he has the coat of colors and the brothers throw him away. So you have this family that is significant for the tribe of Israel, right? And it comes out of Jacob's loins where he has played the trickster. So we have to remember that, yes, everyone plays a fool, but will you remain the fool forever? Or will you accept that you are going through lessons in life and you are asking um, God <clears throat> to actually <coughs> um, help you to understand <laughs> what you're walking through so that you can wake up from the season of foolishness into the season of wisdom and knowledge. <clears throat> Where is the season of wisdom and knowledge in the Virgo? So <clears throat> actually after you have your experience with Gemini energy and the polarities begin to um, become one, then you will experience <laughs> uh, the the virgin aspect because this is where wholeness is and so that's what brings the Gemini and Virgo aspect together and a lot of this is not seen you know in the Bible or when you are studying astrology but it takes meditation so when you come out of meditation, if you're focusing on something like this, because you want to know about the messenger, Gemini is the messenger and that's likened to um, Archangel Gabriel. So he's going to bring the message and the message was about the Virgin um, Mary who was going to have the Christ child. You see how that comes together? And so meditation and consciousness brings you there. And then someone might say, well, what, what, what good does that do me? Because until you come into the wholeness with Gemini energy, then what happens is, is that you're playing a fool. Um, people are tricking you or you being tricked. Now, you know, most times people are getting personal about it and, and they're getting insulted or they're embarrassed. Why? Are you going to get insulted and embarrassed? Everybody plays the fool. They said sometimes in the song, I believe throughout our lives, we, we have all had foolish encounters. It's not that I want to turn around and say to someone, oh, you think I'm a fool. I don't want to stay in that place where it gets personal. I want to learn why you think I'm a fool when it might be you that's playing a fool. Because, you know, here it is. A lot of us are going through Esau and Jacob's seasons. And again, Esau thought he knew everything. 
Now, this is the darker aspect of us. But then over here, Jacob is watching how his brother is always going out and um, he's going out into the fields. He's always working and he's at home. And so, you know, mom has coaxed him to do something and get that birthright before his father dies. And he, he does what mom tells him to. And so he becomes the leader of the family where he's actually the youngest born son. I could go on and on with this story, but the thing is, is to remember that we can't become a messenger until that wholeness comes. And that wholeness is when um, the merging of the darkness and light comes together. For instance, we just got finished with sh- five weeks of shadow classes. And um, by the way, you could get those videos for $10 a piece. And I mean, the audios for $10 a piece, just email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. Um, moving on, the wholeness, as in yin and yang, brings us into um the position of Gemini, which is the messenger like the angel Gabriel. And then from there, the progress takes us into wholeness again, into virtue. As we go on in the process, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming more of a virtuous person. And that means that I'm in a place where I'm able to birth, um, the, the Christ child that I've been um, given the the protection is the form but I'm able to birth the Christ child that I've been in and what does that take <clears throat> it takes a season of you going through trickery uh, where you know you're dealing with um, energies that um, are deceptive and manipulative they are um causing you to feel defeated they're causing you to feel like you are worthless but we remember that it's a feeling and so some of us go through things so we can come in and explain and teach about what's happening and so the season with Gemini can be mm, or that energy can be um, for a, a decade it could be for 18 years um and, and, and out of those 18 years, when you look at like where we are right now, Gemini North Node um, for two years, you coming out of a season of 18 years of pain, possibly, and your North Node is in Gemini, then what you're going to get is the manifestation of understanding if you've been walking a path of spirituality and you are really working to um unfold and to bring manifestation of who you are you get this consciousness to understand that Gemini will, will will come into your life in some form or fashion and play um, trickery um, because it's part of the process you got to be able to distinguish between um, Judas and Jesus all right so you guys can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com um, any questions and join some of our classes we have a Chiron class coming up on um, next week the 9th um, it's at 430 the um, donation is $30 and um, the donations we always use to help those in need um, if you are in need then you want to get become a part of what we're doing so that you can get in on the help and the fun facts right the knowledge and the wisdom be a part of the team grow and expand in the world to make our light shine and bring healing to the world all right so you guys have a wonderful evening day wherever you are in the world and be blessed my name is kim warner god bless you